Martin Luther himself was bewailing the explosion of divisions that resulted within the Protestant movement from his own teaching of sola scriptura and the right of private judgment, the right of private interpretation. For instance, quoting Luther quickly, there are as many beliefs as there are heads. And, and he wasn't saying that because he was proud of it. He was saying that he was, he's saying this is bad. This is really bad. There are as many beliefs as there are heads. Quoting him again, how many doctors have I made through preaching and writing? Now they say, be off with you, go off with you, go to the devil. Thus it must be when we preach, they laugh. When we get angry and threaten them, they mock us, snap their fingers at us and laugh in their sleeves. And I just think, what did he expect? Before the authorities at the Diet of Worms, Luther had said, and I'm quoting him again, I consider myself convicted by the testimony of Scripture, which is my basis. Here I stand. I can do no other. He went on to teach that this was the right, that is what he had done, was the right of every Christian to do. <laughs> that is, to practice the privilege and the right of private interpretation. Quoting Luther, in these matters of faith, to be sure, each Christian is for himself Pope and Church. And so, you and I talked about this a bit last week, but one begins to wonder, did he not imagine that others might follow his example, that others might make Scripture their basis, that they might come to positions in disagreement to his, and yet find themselves convicted by the testimony of Scripture, and uh, and feeling the need to say, here I stand, I can, you know, you know, did he not think about that? Did that not cross his mind? 